What's up, marketers and entrepreneurs? Rod Chicken Ant wanted to bring you guys a video about ClickBank today. And I already know you're gonna say, hey, it's just another quick ClickBank article or ClickBank video that's not gonna give you give us detailed information. And I wanted to give you guys something specifically for 2019 and something that's gonna help you make that first $100 a day so that you can take your career, your skills, your job, your business to the next level. And I wanna help you guys with that with this video today. So guys, uh, ClickBank, if you guys don't know what ClickBank is, it's just a uh, online website that has a lot of offers, affiliate marketing offers and can get, really give you an opportunity to make money without having your own product. So um, a lot of the products are digital, or I think all of them are digital. And um, depending on which niche you are, you got a wide variety of products that other people sell. And they're offering you an opportunity to promote their product to your audience and to make money. So guys, a lot of the ClickBank content online don't give you specifics. I wanna get as deep as possible without making this video too long. So what I'm gonna do, I got three points here and I have them um, organized here. I wanna make sure I give you guys some strategy that's gonna work for you. But I'm not gonna make this video too long. So um, what I've been doing here lately is to, first of all, telling everybody to go ahead and sign up for the seven step guide so that you can get on that list so we can provide you guys with more customized content. And also, if you have specific questions about ClickBank or if you're stuck in any part of your digital marketing career trying to make money, go ahead and comment below so we can start the community, start really prioritizing engagement, and we're gonna help you guys out with that. So. Um, number one, pick offers that matches your content and your message. Guys, I keep hitting on this all the time, but I still see people get to the point where they just want to promote the highest priced offer, which is not the best strategy, guys. You're gonna come across as a sellout all the time. I don't care how good you may shine it up, but everybody know there's a couple of, if you go to ClickBank right now and you sort the offers by price, that's where most people are promoting. Just the sheer fact that you're not going to be promoting the highest price offer is going to set you apart of the competition already, guys. And you see all the digital marketers online promoting the high price affiliate offers. And guys, this does a lot of things for you if you don't do it. First of all, that lets people know that, hey, you're not in here for the money. You're actually here to make help me out. If you, if your customer or your client or your prospect know, hey, there's other options out there that can personally make me, personally make me more money, I am not going to just push that down your throat just to make more money like a used car salesman. I'm gonna find the offer that's right for you. Is that less, if that's less money in my pocket short term, that's okay because I know the, the life value of that client or that customer is gonna be larger if I go ahead and think in the long term than just a short term commission offer, guys. So you have to think in long term strategic ways. If you do this, you're gonna position yourself for success, guys, and you're gonna stand out from the other 98% of the ClickBank uh, marketers out there who's trying to push products only because of price. And it's gonna also set you apart because everybody's not gonna be promoting just offers based on, I won't say the lowest price, but something that makes sense for your content and your audience. So we wanna make sure we do that. Um, number two, Let's pick multiple op offers that make sense, guys. We wanna create a stack of offers, so over time, once we're creating content, we, we got a content marketing strategy going on any platform, we can offer different affiliate offers that make sense. Um, and uh, this is a little bit more involved and, and needs some experience, but the good news is, this is trial and error. You, you can get it at least 80, 90% right the first time, as long as you stick within the same niche. That's that's why I always tell you guys, it's so important that you pick a niche, you stick with it because once it makes sense for your end users and they see your content time and time again, the affiliate offer is also gonna make sense for them. So you're gonna have people who buying multiple affiliate offers from you. So they may watch two videos before and say, hey, Rod's promoting this course that um, helps me um, take my um, audio skills to the next level. 
cameras. Let me check this out. And then instead of audio, we can go video. Same thing. And it makes sense. They'll buy it because it makes sense. And I don't have to force the highest price affiliate ClickBank offer down their throat. And now, instead of me selling one crappy high price article or offer, I sell them two offers. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We can, cre we can create a segment of, I don't know, 50, 60 offers if you got that many affiliates, if your niche is large enough. Enough. So um, guys, the point I'm trying to make is, is pick offers that make sense and then play somewhere it makes sense. Don't become a sales pitch finesse. Great, great value, solve their problems, create a relationship and where it makes sense, insert the offer. Don't come across too heavy. It's it gonna naturally make sense when you do it and that's gonna be the difference between you and a expert, well, the difference between a bad affiliate marketer and an expert affiliate marketer because they know when to place those offers. So um, that's a very um, great strategy to go. So guys, I wanted to make sure I hit these offers. So I made a list here, so bear with me. And um, number three, and we kind of already talked about this, but I want I want to really hit it home. I see on online, there's a lot of digital marketers who, um, you see them, they just, everybody promote the same products and you wonder why these are the most high price affiliates. Um, a lot of people, uh, promote Bluehost because, uh, quite frankly, what's his name? Plat friend, Plat. Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income posted income statements of Bluehost Commission, and he made over six figures a year with Bluehost commissions. And you see half, if not most of everybody who pushing Bluehost, pushing those affiliate programs. The problem is, is he got in early when Bluehost used to be able to give you that type of commission structure, but it's not like that no more. <laughs> and you can't get the offer that he has. But yet, they didn't look at all the fine details. They just know Pat Flynn makes over one over six figures with um, Bluehost. So everybody's pushing Bluehost. Me personally, I used to be with Bluehost. I'm not. I can get into details and um, into that in the next video if you guys like, so comment about that. But the point is, you do not want to uh, just promote a affiliate offer because that's what everybody else pushes. That same person may already have account with a uh, HostGator or um, a GoDaddy, but yet you're trying to push them off of that platform to uh, Bluehost so that they can, so you can commission, but yet you're making them waste a ton of time moving platforms when they, they can just focus on the content and the product and making money without having that headache of actually moving platforms, which guys, all the platforms, at least all the top tier ones are relatively in the same boat. So you're not going to get a ton of advantages. They may do something different or here, depending on what your needs are. It may work for you better, but for the most part, most of them make sense. They, you can make money with any web hosting platform. It's just a matter of what's um, best for you and where you what stage you are in your business and all that so don't get wrapped up in just uh, specific offers so guys just to take this home first of all sign up for my seven step guide um, there's a lot more I didn't cover in this video, but I want to make sure that um, you're in a position so that you can get all that so seven step guide below also what are the issues you've been having with ClickBank? Put them down in the description box. What are some of your hurdles? How much money have you made? What's going on with your Click host, your <laughs> ClickBank strategy? I want to know that. And I've um, been trying to make the channel better, guys. Um, been trying to get the audio game set up. Hopefully, this is going to run smooth and um, everything's good with this. And um, I'll continue to add more uh content and incre increase the quality so bear with me on that like subscribe to the content if you have any additional questions let's go ahead and um, get feedback like subscribe to the content 
And um, also, if you guys are um, on Instagram, on Facebook, any of those platforms, go ahead and um, I'm gonna be start putting content over there too. So if you prefer other content in other areas or um, any different types of content, just kind of give me feedback, any uh, other platforms you're at. And I'll make sure I give you guys um, multiple options as far as just where to find the digital link content. So like, subscribe to the content. If you have additional questions, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.